so we can get a good angle. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> there we go. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we are going to be checking out a particularly explosive mod. Oh man, we already got smoke coming from this thing. So, this is a oil tanker that happens to be <gasps> explosive. Now, this is something I was kind of hoping the game would just come out with eventually, but it still hasn't. So, thanks to the world of modders, uh, we have it now. I'm not really sure why it's... Uh, no texture orange, but we're not going to worry about it, okay? Uh, supposedly, if you crash into this thing at a high enough rate of speed, it will explode. And apparently, it's very, very unstable as well. The uh, the mod developer warned against that. So, uh, just, <laughs> just know that this mod is in development. So, if there's anything weird that happens here, uh, just know it's in very, very early development, but I'm still psyched. I've wanted one of these things forever. We've had propane tanks. I imagine this is just a giant propane tank. Uh, so let's see if it goes boom. I have one of the fastest cars I know of right here. So if anything's going to make this explode, it's going to be this one. Did it already explode? Why is there smoke coming from it already? I think it exploded. It did explode. Look, there's a giant... <laughs> Okay, well, I'll just explode it some more. Hold on a second. Can you not do that? All right, let's see. We gotta get there quick before it explodes. Again, it is very volatile, apparently. So look for a, a poof of smoke. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can actually uh, explode it ourselves. But here we go at 160 miles an hour. Yes! You know, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think. <laughs> Maybe we're a little too short for this. Oh, see, that's just downright embarrassing. We just we just decapitated ourselves, basically. You know what? You know, let's, let's aim for the back. I mean, if we hit the back of the thing, it'll explode. How did it explode by itself, but I still hit it at 170 miles an hour, and it doesn't explode? I don't understand that, but here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Oh. It still didn't explode. Huh. Very strange. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Um, I wonder if I kind of put this on its side. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Please don't explode on me, buddy. If I put this on its side like... Oh, God. Please don't explode. <gasps> okay, that's not what I meant, but... Uh, <laughs> hold on. No, no, no. I want you... I want to hit... I want to hit right here. So, let's see if we can just grab that oh god it's gonna explode isn't it I, I know it is all right don't flip over there we go now if we hit right here at 170 it's gotta explode right it's got it here we go third time's the charm <laughs> it's a little harder to explode than i would have thought honestly uh but here we go very high rate of speed let's actually slow it down a little bit so we can get a good angle yeah oh <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness. It's in a, a good 15, 20 feet up in the air there. Wow. Not as big of a fireball as I would have expected, but for BMG Drive, that's a pretty darn big explosion. Here comes the flames, the smoke. We are 110% dead. <laughs> All right, now, now I got to try something else. Hold on. Let's get this car right over here somewhere. There, there we go. All right, let's respawn this. I wonder how high I need to drop this thing out of the sky for it to explode. I imagine probably not too far, but just to add insult to injury, let's drop this explosive tanker on top of this very, very expensive race car. Okay, I imagine that's, uh, that's, that's, that's high enough. Hopefully it doesn't drift too much here. Here it comes. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. How much? <laughs> See, that was more of an explosion. Not much left of our car. Very, very flat. This thing has a roll cage. Keep that in mind. And still got flattened into an absolute pancake, man. <laughs> All right, let's put that back. Whoop. Okay, we, we want to get this thing back on the ground without exploding because there's some other uh, vehicles that I want to 
throw at this thing at full speed. Oh, God. Careful, you're good, you're good. Okay, let's go back to the end of the runway here, and let's get, uh, let's get some bigger cars. And by bigger, I mean a little bit taller, because... Uh, the problem we had last time is we basically went straight underneath it. We didn't really hit anything uh, that could potentially explode. So what I'm thinking is we're going to start off with an H-Series. How about what's, what's the fastest H-Series we have? What's the Vandal? I've never seen this. Uh, lifted suspension, off-road brakes, and shocks. Okay, I want one that's fast, though. Like a fast one. I don't know. If there even isn't a fast H-Series. But you know what? We'll get the off-road. This thing's pretty quick. All right, here we go. Now, I don't see any smoke in the um, in the distance here, so maybe that was just a weird fluke that it exploded first things first. But uh, this is a very heavy vehicle, and we're going pretty quick, 100 miles an hour. This should make it explode, unless you literally have to hit the top of this thing to make it explode. I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look at that, man. Yeah, that's still, that's still didn't explode. Let's hit the back of it, maybe. Yeah, I'm starting to think you you have to hit the, the, the top to actually make this thing go kablooey. But let's hit the back here and see if we can get that mythical explosion. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, no. I think you, I think, yeah, I think you do indeed have to hit the top of this thing. You know, this makes me want to uh, reenact the intro scene from Final Destination 2. If you've seen it, you are forever scarred and scared of log trucks. I'll just say that much. Uh, but let's, uh, I, I kind of want to see if I just drop this on top of this tanker truck, if we can get it to explode. Now, how high should I have this, this fall from? I'm going to go a couple hundred feet. How's that right there? There we go. Let's get a good camera camera angle because it's gonna come quick. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> it nearly ripped the entire body from the frame there. But uh, there we go. That's that's kind of what I was looking for, uh, right there. So yeah, that kind of does confirm the theory that you need to hit this thing uh, from the top. But I feel I think I have an idea for something that might get us. Uh, the results I'm looking for without having to uh, jump into the top of this thing. The answer is you just need a really, really tall vehicle. So, of course, uh, we need to try the T-Series here. So, let's get this back on solid ground here. Go over here. Do we have anything really, really fast? Yes, we do. The Ram Plow might be able to, to come out of this pretty fair, relatively unscathed uh, if we're going fast enough. If only we had some Jado Rockets to strap to this thing, but we do have some NOS here, so let's go ahead and uh, activate that. It's still not gonna get us too quick, but this is absolutely blistering fast. For, <laughs> for a T-Series. <laughs> ah. Should we try that without the NOS? I don't know why it exploded. Let's try that again. Maybe, maybe, you know, it probably was because of the NOS, if I'm being, Completely honest. Can you not? Can you go ahead and not do that this time? That would be great. I'll activate it when we get a little bit closer here, because I don't want it to. I don't want to just coast into this uh, into this thing. So let's get up to as fast as we're gonna go here. And now we're gonna arm this thing. There goes the engine torque risk, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna hit this thing anyway. Oh yeah! There we go. It, it yeah it exploded that time because we actually did like rip our way to the top and honestly this t-series is in pretty good shape considering what just it just went through i would say but still i feel like we can get a little bit more uh what's the word dramatic with this so i think you guys know what we're going for next uh <laughs> of course we gotta go with the ram bus rocket edition here uh this is just gonna be completely ridiculous but it should be good. Hopefully it doesn't crash my brand new computer. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Here we go. 100 miles an hour. Can we hit 200? It's going to be close. 170, 80. Yes, we are. Oh. Almost straight through this thing like freaking butter. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not much left of it, is there? Oh, my God. That is... That is a sight to behold for sure. Oh, buddy. Oh, what is that? What is that abomination? Hold on. Is that a tire? I think that's a tire. I don't, I don't know, but it's breaking the laws of physics. Uh, I do know that. Now, I kind of want to... um. Let's get this reset. I kind of want to drive this thing around. Uh, we are in Italy. I, I just to change it up a little bit. I feel like I never come here, and I know a lot of you guys like this. Is probably the biggest map in the game, but I never freaking use it. I don't know what's wrong with me. So let's get down here. I'm not going to crash into it this time. Uh, but I thought we could drive around. Actually, no, why? Let's go onto the highway. Uh, because I want to drive around with some traffic and see if we can get this thing to explode while it's still attached to us. Now, from what I've learned so far, that's probably going to be a no. Oh, God. All right, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, it, it seems like it's pretty hard to make this thing explode. I wish there was like a detonate button uh, that we could have with this thing. But unfortunately, in its current state, there is not. But if you're watching Mod Developer, I think that would be a very cool... Uh, thing to add if it's even possible. I don't know much about modding in this game uh, But I think it would be pretty cool here. So let's get this back right there and uh, Let's actually let's actually spawn up another one here another explosive tanker right there. There we go spawn up. Oh That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do spawn it right there reset. What are you doing? Why are you? Uh, okay, I'll just do it. I'll do it the hard way here. There we go uh, and just Got to do this sometimes. This game's weird sometimes, guys. Okay, there we go. So can I connect uh, this together? Yes, I can. Does it have the little thing? This thing is a little glitched out. You'll see the uh, missing texture. Uh, but let's see if we can get that on there. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know you want to connect. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we have this super dangerous explosive tanker connected to uh, the ram plow here. A lethal combination, I must say. So now all we need is some traffic. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> They're all lined up. Oh no. What are you guys doing? I'm going the wrong way on the highway, aren't I? Yes, I am. Whoa! That didn't last long, did it? How did it disconnect already? Okay. Good news is. Oh. <laughs> dang it. Ah, connect. Connect, you idiot. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> this game, man. I love how physics-based it is, but sometimes the physics comes back and bites you in the keister. And now... Now we're stuck in the wall. Just work, you absolute idiot. Oh, I don't even know. What's, what is wrong with this game right now? Now the tra How did that guy end up... I must have pushed him up. <laughs> it's upside down now that I think about it. Okay, can we please connect? It's really not that hard, my guy. Tap it in. Tap it in. Tap it in. Tap it in. There we go. Okay, we're set for <laughs> our rampage now. All right, will you, got, will you behave, please? That would be great. There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's get some new cars spawned in. What if we hit one over the top of the truck and it lands on top and explodes? That would be amazing. Do I see it happening? No, <laughs> but uh, you never know. All right, I'm going to turn around here. We kind of started at the end of the highway. I hear a tire flapping, but I don't remember us popping one. Oh, no. Oh, that's a tight turn. It's not going to work, but okay. <laughs> oh, I just had to reset. You know what? Screw it. I'll let you guys crash it. Why don't you guys just pile up in front of that thing and uh, we'll put on a show here. So here we go. Spin it around. Yes, that was actually a pretty good turn for this. Not going to lie. All right, here we go. <laughs> the final <laughs> stunt. Oh, boy. If it doesn't explode, I'm going to be so disappointed. But here we go. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're just going to drop this on this pile of cars. How about that? How about that? Here we go. Don't try to run, run away. And it didn't explode. It didn't explode. Hold on. Hold on. 
How is that not high enough? What if I just... Can I, like, rip it open? And, like, make it explode? No, I can't. I can't. All right, I guess we need to go higher. I guess we need to go higher. <laughs> if it doesn't explode now, I don't know what to tell you, folks. I really don't. But here we go. We still got some cars down here. <laughs> it's okay. We just got to remind ourselves that it's in early access, guys. It's in early access. But uh, I guess that's as good as we're going to get right now, folks. Hold on. I'll give it one more shot here. Please, just explode. There we go. Yes. Just kind of lifted our corpse up into the air there. Very odd. Um, <laughs> very promising, though. I must say, if you guys want to mess around with this mod for yourself, I'm just going to eat these cars all over the place. If you guys want to download this mod for yourself, oh, I broke it. <laughs> anyway, I'll have a link to this mod down below. Uh, yeah, just keep in mind it is in development, so it'll only get better. At least we can hope. Uh, but this is what we got right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch because I mess around with stuff like this all the time live. Uh, so if you don't want to miss that, I'll have a link below for that as well. And with that, guys, I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.